want to like this. But I think it's absolutely, <laughs> I think it's uh, absolute genius that you can go around here. And you can even squeak, as you can see. Probably a little annoyingly, to be totally honest. But yeah, the fact is, spectating these mini games was a fun activity uh, in itself sometimes. And uh, you really felt like you were cheering on, or at least doing something about it, as things got crazy. I always had the idea that when you die, you should be able to break things, which was actually one of the custom game rules with a lot of those. But when it comes to multiplayer games, it's mostly down to you have snowballs or you have a shovel, and you've got to kill people and see who's the first of three rounds. As you can see, uh, Spiffy has two. I have one. Can we bring it back? I certainly hope so. It's looking pretty good so far. We just got to get this guy down. He's not seeing it coming. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't... I'm, I'm not seeing anything coming. But yeah, the trick to this game is people get very terrified when you throw snowballs at them, which is what you've got to be doing. Always be on the offensive, never be on the defensive. And if you do it well enough, yeah, that guy down there, he's going down. Oh, yeah. Oh, he left the game. I assume he disconnected. There's no way that was intentional. But yeah, I just have to beat Steve over here. I think I'm going to jump down and like <laughs> really start kill him. Boom. That is two wins for me. Can I get a third? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh, we have got a party happening now. <laughs> I tweeted out after we got two people in here, saying if anyone would like to join me for some tumble. And let me tell you, that was a good decision. Look at this, we are playing like it is 2016, and no one can tell me otherwise. Something fun the game is doing to let people know that I'm one victory away from winning the entire thing is giving me these white little sparkles. That means that everyone will know that if they kill me, they are preventing a uh, victory for me, at least for another round, which kind of puts a target on your back, something I absolutely love. It's a small twist for Spleef, but it really is a good one in my opinion. Also, is anyone up there still? I assume not, but we should check. Okay, Reindeer Man is going down. He's going to be my first target, which is going to keep firing snowballs until he inevitably falls down. Make sure both of these guys uh, fall down. And uh, they, there's an easy way to do this, by the way, which is going to separate that bottom there into as many blocks as we humanly can. We make sure that there's as many separations, as many parkours they have to do to exist, so they can't focus on firing snowballs back at me instead. Which is a great idea, probably. I'm not even sure. Okay, there's one guy left. There's no way he's surviving enough of this because he's getting hit by snowballs. He's going to go over this big chasm that I've made and now he's going to go back over it, but I'm making it hard for him. Oh, no, but he's going to make it hard for me, it seems. Okay, so as you can see, this is the, the counter-aggressive he's going on right here. Is it going to work for him? I don't know if I think so. No, he's found the way over it. Okay, so we're going to prevent him from doing that again uh, by throwing all sorts of snowballs his way. When you're running, it is quite hard to hit because who can predict where you're going to go? Not me, that's for sure. Oh, he can predict where I'm going to be, though. Yeah! Victory by default. Look at that. I have rainbow sparkles now. Time to round end, five seconds. But that is, if I'm not mistaken, an absolute victory. I am proud of me. The fast learner. 426 blocks destroyed, 117 jumps, and 437 distance. So it shows you time. I'm alive and all sorts of other fun things from your last game, which I really do enjoy. Although a lot of these people clearly joined in a little bit too late. But yeah, as you can see, this was battle. Uh, well, this was uh, the mini games, and it's something which was incredibly fun. So um, yeah, I feel like I should play a second game just to show you something fun. We'll, we'll jump into shovels, and see if we can do that. So this is tumble, but with shovels. It has fewer layers as you could expect, and uh, yeah, it means that you very much have to be kind of aggressive about how you do things, but because there's no ranged weapons until it gets to a showdown, it means you can kind of have some fun with it in my opinion, because if people can't get to you, they can't break your blocks, which means you can do some very, very silly things, which is absolutely my favorite thing to do ways, because think about it, if people can't be on the same land as you, they can't break where you are from everything else, and so what we're going to do is we're going to make a little island over here, and okay, well that's, that's not going according to plan at all, we're going to make a little island over here so that no one can even physically get over here. This is an absolutely genius idea, probably, but look at that, now I am 100% stranded. Um, but yeah, I love Tumble, there were all sorts of dumb strategies I had in mind. These two guys can fight each other, and I'm going to be entirely safe from each other. Actually, wait, just be extra safe here, let's do that. So, yeah, we have two people running around, fighting to the death, and I'll just exist with all these bats. <laughs> Yeah, you can see how maybe the squeaking was annoying. Something else you'll notice is this is actually a randomly generated map, but it is within the confines of the exact same world. There's a desert temple over here. Uh, there is an ice uh, kind of spike spine over there. There's a big cave over there. And then finally, there's the tumble logo over there. 
So one of the fun things is most people think there is only one map for Tumble or it's procedurally generated, but actually this is a myth. A myth I can explain to you right after I win this game of Tumble because something really fun happens uh, once you go far enough without anyone dying or rather once the time limit is hit. And uh, yeah, I want to see what this guy is up to because I don't think he knows that he can't get there. <laughs> okay, he's worked it out, he's worked it out. What are you gonna do, friend? You wanna you wanna try and jump that? It might be safe for you. You could probably do it, I bet. <laughs> I wonder if he knows about the stalemate breaker, or if he's there like, man, toy cat, why do you have to be like this? First of all, why are you dressed like a cat girl maid? But more importantly, why do you have to make it so it's unwinnable for anyone? I just hope he doesn't jump in lava. That's my one prayer. If he thinks that that's what he has to do, I am very much screwed. Ah, showdown! So here's the fun thing, because of the fact that you can stalemate uh, tumble with shovels, they do give you snowballs eventually, which now that I think about it, I should have been on the bigger piece of land, not the tiny piece of one, but look at that! I won it anyway! Toy Cat is a winner! And so now that I've shown you tumble... Wait, no, technically I do have to show you the fact that there is a levitate potions item set, which, you know, that sounds fun enough and will have spectator participation as much as I know I'm gonna regret that. So it seems as though the same people who were playing earlier are desperate to play some more games, which sounds fun to me, but I do still want to show you an easter egg in the lobby. I've got 45 seconds. Can I do it? Let's find out. Walmart Plus members save on delivery, gas, plus so much more. Join today! The story of Dracula on the last voyage of the Demeter. Dracula is on the this ship. Okay, I'll admit 45 seconds wasn't enough. I do want to show you around some of the secrets of this because this is one of the cool things. They could have just had an area, literally a flat space and said, run around, do anything you like. That's what PUBG does, to be totally honest with you. And that's a real video game, not a mini game of a bigger one. But this actually had all sorts of fun little mini games you could do. And so here is an example. If you put this sword facing this way, you will open a secret chest over here with some snowballs in. Do you need snowballs? Depends on the sort of person you are. But then there is a mini game using the rest of these, or rather a puzzle I should say, if you place uh, you know, swords around the map and if you make this match those swords, something very fun happens because just like that we open up a chest and inside of that are nine Steve heads. I guess we'll take all of them. You know, we might as well. We can't take all because they're just in the lobby, but it's still pretty fun. There's this nice little step to stop you getting lost, but it's still uh, very fun, right? And yeah, there is a mob head game where you have to gather all the heads, but what is the purpose for this? Well, let me show you. I think this is actually one of the coolest Easter eggs in Minecraft history because, uh, yeah, you might recall uh, that earlier I was uh, talking about the piano with the bookcase on it. Well, there's also a random water bucket up here. If you place the water bucket like so, you know, just off to the right like that, like you wanted to pour it down, uh, then something interesting will happen, which is a secret room one. So over here, there is a doorway which only opens when that bucket is moved. It's a fun but simple piece of redstone, and inside of here, you'll see there's a room with a single button. Press that button, and something interesting will happen to that fountain in the middle of the world. So, uh, do you remember that the fountain was just like a centerpiece, right? But actually, the water is controlled by dispensers, which can be entirely drained. So that is interesting enough by itself. As you can see, there is now no water in here. But something that's even more fun is the fact that when you do this, you reveal there is a secret lever. Look at this thing over here. If you tap that secret lever, all of the stone goes away, which is fun enough by itself. And what do you find down here? Whoa, is this looking familiar? If you recall, the best the mini game lobby I showed up earlier is right here, but spooky and covered in cobwebs. When 4J upgraded the mini game lobby, they kept the old one intact and they showed how it's aged in that time. Something I think was absolutely beautiful and honestly quite genius, if I'm being totally honest. And even better, there was a fun mini game where you had to get all of the heads. They went into the chest and into some weird hopper system that eventually led to you getting a glowing light on. Get all five heads and there's a secret reward back there. And although getting all
pull ahead to something which can take some serious doing and uh, honestly, you know, let's, let's show it off anyway because uh, this map is destroyed in all sorts of ways and one of those fun ways, in my opinion, is the fact that back here, behind this lever, you'll actually see there's the never. They put the whole never into this map using, oh wow, yeah, look at these textures. It's always never act that reveals to me that there's all textures in Minecraft. Boom, that's a wither skeleton skull. So, um, yeah, the fact that a lot of people, even now, can you die in lava in this? Oh, you can't, that's fine. But a lot of people, even now, probably haven't seen all of the Easter eggs this world has 